So yeah, we're hanging out here in the cow pasture, horse pasture this morning. Just thought we'd do a little video. Nothing major today, just uh, spring's coming. And um, well, we just thought we'd uh, do a little video to just kind of update you on what's been going on around here. We have nothing to do with this. We take no credit for it. But the grass is getting very, very green. This is cool because, well, the cows eat it, the horse eats it, and it saves on food costs. So I'm kind of panning in the background. You can see the greenness of the field. So that's kind of cool. So that saves us a little money through the summer. Doesn't cost us as much to feed the uh, livestock because they're eating the things that God provided for them to eat. Kind of like the Bible talks about where God provides. He provides. So that's pretty cool. So that's one thing that's going on around here. And I'm going to walk down here a little bit and show you another thing that's going on. We got to give you a shot of Harlow. There's Harlow Jane. Hey, Harlow. Harlow's having breakfast as well. Yeah, how you doing there, girl? You're looking good. She's shutting. So I guess we do have a little bit of an update on her. She's shutting. That's another way we know that spring is coming because the animals are shutting off the winter coats. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I mean, she's a pretty girl. It's so pretty. It's so cool having a horse. I never, never knew I'd enjoy having a horse as much as I love having a horse. And it's not even my horse. <laughs> so we got some hay. We bought a couple bales of hay. Uh, there's a remnant of one and there's a remnant of another. The idea was cold was just lingering on. It's been a long winter, long winter and uh, raining a lot. So we thought, man, we get a couple bales and hopefully that feeds these the cows and the horse till the grass starts turning. Um, Cause we're getting short on the square bales that we have in the barn. We're getting low on inventory there. So uh, it was a good idea. It worked. They rolled that one down the hill. You see it right there? Yeah, they rolled it down the hill as they were trying to get to the good stuff. The good stuff's on the inside of the bale. But uh, it's so funny because the cows will come out here and they'll lay right here and then they'll eat while they're laying. Just That's what you call fat, happy, lazy cows. What a life, eh? Lay around and get and, and have a abundance of food. So that's what's been going on out here in the, in the cow and the horse, horse pasture. And now we'll go take a look at uh, some other prep work that we got going on as far as uh, around the garden and stuff. So another thing that's been going on around here is uh, my wife's been hitting some natty lights in the morning. Look at that, look at that. She's busted, busted and disgusted. She tells me she's feeding cows and, and brushing horses, but nope, she's drinking natty lights. Mm-hmm, what a life. It's almost as good a life as the cows. They lay around in the hay and eat. You can sit out here in the hay field and drink Gross beer, like really gross beer. But hey, it's country. That's that's country beer. <laughs> so right now we're riding the fence line. We've been doing this a lot more often because we had a big break in the fence and we don't even know how long we didn't even know. And we didn't lose anybody and we didn't gain anybody, so that's a good thing, but gotta keep an eye on that fence. The cows are pretty much trained to leave it alone. They think it's hot even when it's not. Horses are easy. You can put just a string up and a horse will stay away from it. They're smart. They're smart animals. But uh, you still want to ride the fence line. And not only to keep yours, your cows out of other people's fields, but it's to keep theirs out of yours. And it's not because you don't want them there. It's out of respect. So everybody kind of takes care of their own and, and does their own out of respect for each other. As you can see, my farmer next door here, he does a lot of serious farming. Of course, that stuff ain't moved in years, so at least he used to. <laughs> Anyway, that's what we're doing right now is we're riding the fence and I think we got some footage of when the fence was broken. Uh, we'll slide that in here right here and, and show you. Well, good afternoon from Sunrise Farms and uh, show you here we have some fence work that we have to do today. Electric fence came, came down. Uh, we had some pretty good storms came through so don't know if it's from the storm or from the critters, whatever. But um, everybody decided to come and see what's going on, which makes it a little difficult to uh, get the job done. And then I had some horse treats in my pocket. And uh, so then the cows started getting a little up close and personal because they all wanted a cow treat that was coming out of my pocket. Well, they were right here and now they moved away. So, um, so anyway, so there's the girlfriends. So hi, ladies. Hi ladies, say hi. Oh, and here comes Harlow, because she's like, what's up y'all? And uh, 
Anyway, so it just makes it um, a little interesting when you're in the middle of a field and do something. Um, Dave is running back to the barn. I'm going to get an additional piece of wire and um, see about getting some uh, something to keep these cows occupied um, so that they're not um, <laughs> pushing me into the fence. Because um, they love their mama, don't they? Yes, y'all love your mama. So anyway, and there's, where's the boys? There's the boys. You can kind of see them. They keep rocking the rig because they're like, yo, mom, come on out. And Harlow, well, she's the queen. So she's making sure everybody stays put. Now with her up here, I might be able to get something done. But here, you can come over here and say hi. You gonna say hi, Holstein? You gonna say hi? Oh no, don't get in the buckets now. Come on. Anyway, there's Holstein up close and personal. Up close and personal. Hi. Come here. Come here. Yeah, show everybody that you're you're like a big dog. Hmm. Everybody you're like a big dog. And now let's go back this way, because now Harlow's like deciding to eat out of the back of the rig. Her eye is running a little bit today. She's got uh some weather issues going on, but um it happens. She has a torn tear duct and uh so her unfortunately she waters a little bit, don't you, baby girl? Don't ya? Yeah, she kind of got a bad rap the other day when we took that video and she was in the barn and she come running out here like a crazy woman. But um, she's really not crazy. She's very calm, cool, and collective. She's what you call an easy catch. She'll come out to you w without any problem whatsoever. Um, let you do whatever you need to do from checking her teeth to checking her feet. She's pretty cool about it. Um, so she kind of got a bad rap in that video. But uh, we'll do some... Um, I don't know, uh, distinctive videos with her, uh, just to remind everybody who's new to the, the channel, you know, that she's a rescue. Um, when we first got her, she wasn't even 600 pounds. Uh, she came from a slaughterhouse. She was skin and bone. She was sick as all get up. And, uh, it's taken me a year. She's been here one year, actually, uh, next weekend will be one year that she's been here. And, uh, we finally got her up to weight. Um, and now time to start working with her and, uh, we'll take you guys along that journey with her. Oops. And she's running because Dave brought the wig and here comes dad chasing them all away. All right. We'll, we'll finish this video later. Bye. So another thing we've done in the last couple of weeks is we clean this out. We got as much of the straw out of it as we could, uh, and the hay that the goats, uh, spilled over and just let lay because they were bougie they didn't eat it was on the ground but the idea here is to get some grass growing which it looks like we're having some success with because we want to get a couple more cows and you usually want to quarantine new animals before you introduce them to the other animals just in case they got anything going on they're not spreading it to uh the ones that are already here so this is going to be the quarantine room if you will um when we get a couple more cows hopefully and hopefully that's soon um stay tuned to the channel subscribe give us a like give us a follow and you'll know when they arrive so another thing we did last weekend i think it was is we got rid of my hill i've been wanting to get rid of that thing since we moved in two plus years ago and well we was able to do that last week that's one of the reasons we bought the tractor that we bought um because we wanted to get rid of the hill still a little bit of a bump here but um i'll be able to get that with a smaller equipment rather than the tractor and level that out a little bit you know, we got grapes there. That's the grape, grape corner. We got three grape plants. One at one fence post, one at the corner fence post, and one at that fence post. So I'm thinking we can do one, two, maybe three more grape plants down this way. Because at that next fence post down there is another grape plant. So we'd have grapes growing all along here. And that was the idea. And one of the reasons I wanted to get rid of this hill. That was actually fun. That was a fun job. You can see the grass is already coming up through the dirt. Yeah, it's already so yeah this will all be this will all be grass by midsummer it'll take care of itself and some of this dirt this is good dirt man really good dirt so some of it we moved over here to the garden and then uh, john plowed up the garden and got it ready we figured we're probably about oh about a month away from planting um i think april 10th is the day they give us around here that we can uh, can plant so we're gonna be ready to plant we'll get them started on the inside and get them planted out here so 
excited about the garden this year. We can't take credit for this either, but another thing that's been going on around here is the peach trees are blooming. Look at that. How pretty is that? They're so pretty. I don't know if we'll get peaches though, because I don't remember what I bought. And you got to cross pollinate them. And I don't remember what I bought. So I don't, remember, I don't know what I can buy because I don't know what I got. So I don't know if I'd be cross pollinating or not. So I guess what I'll do is buy a third one, put it in between, but I'll buy it from a different store. That'll increase my chances of getting a different kind of tree, right? Probably not. They probably all come from the same supplier. Yeah, probably. Apple trees. They're not doing a whole lot just yet. Well, yeah, they are. I haven't walked out here in a minute, but uh, yeah, look at that. That's got some buds on it right there. That one does too. Look, I see that right there. Yeah. So even the apple trees, they're gonna be, uh, they're gonna be rocking and rolling here in a, in a week. That one, not yet. Not yet on that one. And yep, that one's got a little bit of green on it right there. And this one down here, this is the youngest one, the newest one. And I don't really see any green on it yet. So apple trees are still waking up from the winter slumber. But yeah, that's some more stuff we've been doing around here on the farm. One other thing we've done lately is moved the babies out to the barn. Gave them a whole lot more space, a whole lot more room. We got most of their feathers, but we still got some lamps in there because, well, we got down to like 32 last night. Not quite a frost, but pretty cold. But yeah, that's the next round. Next round of 11 of the baby girls. And they got to be the quietest chickens we've ever had. They're just so calm and quiet. It's just really neat how calm and quiet they are. But, uh, yeah, hopefully they're giving us some eggs by eh, probably early May. I got about another six, eight weeks before they're ready to do that. So that means I got about a month to build a coop. Yeah. So, yeah, this is some of the things that have been going around, going on around here at Sunrise Farms. Again, give us a like here uh, on the video. Let us know that uh, you saw it and that you dig it, dug it. Um, I guess you can give us a dislike if you don't like it. I mean, that's what it's there for, right? Uh, comments. We like comments too. We love hearing from you all. Let us know what you think uh, about everything that's going on around here. Uh, if you follow us, then when we post new videos, you'll know because we're just not to the point where we are on a schedule. It's not like uh, Tuesday night at 8 o'clock happy days. It just doesn't work that way here yet. We're hoping to get there one day, but we're just not quite there yet. So if you give us a follow, uh, subscription, you subscribe and follow us, then when we post new videos, you will get an alert and you can run right over here and you can watch it. And I'll even do my best Fonzie for you. Hey. All right, that's it. That's all. Uh, Liam, Liam, send me more farm jokes. We need more farm jokes. We'll see you guys next time.